So I already gave, gave a similar talk last year, um, so maybe this is a, a tradition going to happen. Um, but it's been already two years of working in Prometheus uh, and Debian. I, I started working as soon as I heard about the announcement of Prometheus. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Debian developer and I used to work at Google and I was a big fan of Borman, so the, the day I saw this, I jumped immediately and I wanted this to be ready in Debian to be installed by everybody um, in their servers. Uh, and well, I'm not a Google anymore, so now I'm a freelancer. Um, and yeah, for many people talking about Debian here it might seem weird because everybody's um, doing Git clones from head and building things and downloading uh, unsigned binaries from for Docker images and that kind of thing. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, many of you will think that we are irrelevant, but well, there is a certain people, a certain group of people that think that we are still very much relevant, that we are the way to go. Um, at least sysadmins, <laughs> we are friends of sysadmins, and they also need monitoring. Um, it's actually the kind of tool that you really want to have in your stable server. Um, and they can provide some other things like proper integration, same defaults, security support, that kind of thing that you should usually don't get by doing a call by sudo bash. <laughs> so, um, I started working on this in 2015, uh, and last year was a lot of work. It was the freeze, and the new stable release was, uh, was released, launched this May, uh, stretch is called, and uh, so after two years of work, it paid off. Now Prometheus is in stable, it has, it's a real Ubuntu, it's in Kali, and probably other derivatives, there are so many, there's like 120 derivatives of Debian, uh, and usually all the packages that are in Debian automatically go to the others. So I will show you a bit the states. Um, even if people say we are always uh, old and, 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 and lagging behind, we, we are still not so bad. So, uh, shit, that table's, yeah, I got, I, I got the wrong version for Prometheus, the most important one. <laughs> so, well, in all stable, uh, using uh, backports, you have 152 in a stretch. Uh, you have 1522, but using all um, backports, you have 1617. Uh, yeah, sorry, I uploaded that yesterday. <laughs> and in testing two, then we have the alert manager, uh, 0.5.1 in all stable and unstable. And in testing, I also uploaded yesterday, I think, uh, 0.62. The new version is going to take a bit more because of this Elm thing. It's going to take me forever to package, but we will see. I will get there. Uh, <laughs> try and you guys make it really difficult for me. Uh, so the push, get, push gateway, 0 0.3 in stable, stable 0 0.4 in testing. And so all the underscore, underlined versions are the one I'm planning to upgrade very soon now. The new supporter also, 0 0.13 and 0 0.14 in testing. Uh, so it's all pretty, pretty recent. Um, we have quite a few exporters that are all readily available and with same defaults and whatnot. So we have the Apache exporter, that's an experimental actually. We have Blackbox exporter, Mail exporter, MongoDB, MySQL, uh, the Postgres bouncer, Postgres exporter, Varnish, Mtail, I just upgraded to 3.0 version, and C Advisor. Um, all of this works, it's well integrated. Um, it, it go, the configuration goes into the right place, etc. Um, and finally, some client libraries. Uh, have, of course, the Go client library. Have a Perl client library. Probably nobody heard about that one. Uh, of course, the Python and the Django integration. They're all with recent versions too. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give you a, a status update on all the work uh, me and a few other people have been doing in this past two years. So, yeah, and if you want to hire me, I'm there. <laughs>